is? What do you, what do you want, money? I don't have any money, okay? Who, who carries cash anymore? I, I, I've got John's credit card number memorized. 555-238-575-521. Did you write that down? Expiration code is 555. Cat is out of the bag. <laughs> I really hope this kidnapping plan works or she'll put us down <laughs> with her insults and cutting observations. <laughs> I think this is a case of mistaken identity. You must be looking for another gorgeous, lovable kitty cat, right? <laughs> hey, 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 where are you going? No, 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 come back, come back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll handle this. All right, you guys. I'm giving you to the count of three to get back here and let us down. One, two, three, four, five. I am not kidding here. 308, 309, 300. I can't. Yeah, they're not coming. Oh, it's over. Please, take me. I am ready to go to that, to that all-you-can-eat buffet in the sky. <laughs> what? Listen, I'm going to swing you out, cut your ropes, and drop you safely to that landing below. Wait, what? That seems a tad risky. Is there another plan that doesn't involve cutting a rope over a 40-foot drop? <laughs> no tag. We gotta get out of here before they come back. <laughs> <laughs> We need to go. Come on, Junior. Wait here, Junior. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. You. Uh, hey, Junior. Huh? Who is he? This is Vic, my father. Oh, look, Junior, I know how you might be upset. Upset? Why would I be upset? You only abandoned me in an alley as a kitten. I'm probably just overreacting. Oh, oh no, not her. Okay, follow me, Junior. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. You lost the privilege of telling me what to do a long time ago. Think. Oh, Dang it. Scare cam! <laughs> oh, you should have seen your faces. <gasps> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, boys, show me. Hello, Oh, dang! Ah! <laughs> Boost that ASAP! <laughs> What? Hey, Jinx! I haven't seen you since. Oh, well, no hard feelings, though, right? Oh, I don't think so. I'm a hugger. Part of me wants to be mad at her for kidnapping us, but you gotta love her energy. <gasps> Where are my manners? Chop, chop, gentlemen. Look alive. <laughs> You know, I was so delighted that you accepted my invitation here tonight. Well, throwing us in a burlap sack wasn't exactly an evite. Vic, you're so quiet. Are you feline sad? Cat caught your tongue. Would you prefer a mimosa? Excuse me, uh, how do you two know each other? Let me handle this, Junior. Oh, don't Junior me. You may call me Garfield, Mr. Garfield, or G-Money. <laughs> okay, whatever, no G-Money. Anyway, can somebody please tell me what is going on? Uh, we really don't need to get uh, I'll take this one. <clears throat> what? I'm from a small town outside London that you've probably never heard of. 
Oh, I scratched and clawed my way through hard times to come here with one dream. <laughs> I wanted to be seen. I wanted to matter. But I was a failure. And then I met Vic and his crew. They were outcasts, losers, thugs. We didn't have much, but we had each other. We became a real family. <laughs> Vic and family. I know this is going. Excuse me, Garcon. Uh, when might we expect appetizers? Perhaps in a moose bouche? And then, one night, we were about to make our biggest score. Enough milk to last us for weeks. Jinx, I tried to come back for you. You have to know that. Oh, yes, you get an A for effort. So what happened next? Imagine Alcatraz, but smellier. It was cold and lonely and stinky. So very stinky. I can't overstate that enough. But it gave me purpose. I needed to get out. I just needed help. So your purpose was to escape jail and get involved with charities? No. My purpose was... Revenge. Oh, I see. I went the other way with it. I'm kidding. Another cat would be bent on revenge, but I'm, uh... Ooh, how do you put it? Evolved, compassionate, and incredibly self-actualized. Bingo! <laughs> I had such trouble finding him, and when I discovered you were his son, I had no choice but to kidnap you to lure him here. No, listen, I totally get it. It's, it's, a, it's all part of being associated with Vic. So, what do you need from him to make this right? I simply want him to pay back the quart of milk I lost that night, and we'll call it even. I can do that. What he can't do is raise a child. Just one quart. Just one quart. Done. Done. For every day I was in the pound. What now? Nice twist. Well played. Uh, how long were you in the pound again? Four years, seven months, and two days. Oh, that long? All right, I'm going to do the math here in my brain. Uh, the way you do that is... <clears throat> Odie. 1,675 quarts of milk. Exactly right, Odie. We both came up with it at the exact same time. Where am I going to find that much milk? Well, I suggest you go back to the place you double-crossed me. Lactose Farms. Wow. Well, good luck, Vic. Uh, I'll leave you two to work out the fireprint. We'll just see ourselves out. Odie? Uh, no, you're all going to do this. What? Wait, why me? He's the one who abandoned you. Yes, but this is more than a one cat job. Yeah, but I'm sure Vic has a whole crew of low-life cat burglars he could ask. Oh, I'm sure he does. But if I'm being completely honest, seeing how miserable you make one another brings me endless satisfaction. Oh, well, thank you for your honesty. And if I don't go? You can stay and have a play date with Roland and Nolan. <laughs> okay, boys. <gasps> Go play. <laughs> Ma'am, I think this is an opportunity to take a deep, cleansing breath and repeat your anger management mantra. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> Anyone else have any objections? Mm -hmm. Nope, I'm good. Thanks for the opportunity. Excellent. Now you boys have 72 hours. <laughs> or else. <laughs> <laughs>